Two glitches, two geniuses. One ignored the rules, one rewrote them to save the world. Part 1. 1939, UC Berkeley. A grad student named George Donsig runs into his statistics class late and sees two math problems written on the board. He assumes they're homework, so he copies them down, goes home, struggles over them for a few days, and eventually turns them in and apologizes to his professor. Six weeks later, his professor is banging on his front door saying, George, I've just rewritten the introduction to your papers. And Donsig is confused. The professor explains, well, those weren't homework. Those were two famous unproven statistical theorems that the greatest minds in the world had failed to solve. But Donsig had solved them because he didn't know they were impossible. Part two, cut to 1968. Margaret Hamilton is the lead software engineer for the Apollo moon landing. She brings her daughter, Lauren, to the lab on weekends. And one day, Lauren is playing with the flight simulator, which she shouldn't have been. And she hits one wrong button, P01, which is the pre-launch program, but they're mid-flight. So the simulator thinks it's back on the launch pad. So it wipes the navigation data and the virtual ship crashes. So Hamilton realizes, well, if an astronaut does this in real life, they're gonna die. So her daughter just exposed a fatal flaw and she begs NASA to let her add error detection code. But NASA says, no, astronauts are trained to never make mistakes. Well, Hamilton still fights them, but she sneaks in an architecture called priority scheduling because she wasn't gonna get her way if she you know, asked for it. Fast forward to Apollo 11, three minutes before touchdown, the rendezvous radar glitches, it floods the computer with thousands of interrupt signals. The CPU is overloaded. It should freeze, it should crash, just like in the simulator. But instead, the 1202 alarm flashes, which wasn't a crash. This was Hamilton's code waking up. 